Today we're going to be doing some cleanup with my tractor. It's a Mitsubishi Sato Buck and it is a S470D with a whole whopping 18.5 horsepower. I've done almost nothing to this guy except for power washing it. I greased the Zerk fittings that would take the grease. Some of the Zerk fittings need to be replaced. I got a pretty good deal on it. It came with the tractor and those three implements over there. And for those who can't really tell what they are, they're a post tool digger, a box blade with rippers, and then a rear blade. But today we're going to be using this landscaping rake. I picked this guy up at Tractor Supply and it's their brand of country line. And this is a category one hitch. And unfortunately when I bought the tractor, the three points were completely taken off. And uh, these adjustable links right here were completely wasted. So I went ahead and got on eBay and I ordered one. Uh, I ordered a, had to order a top link as well. That one was uh, also from Tractor Supply. The links that Tractor Supply had for the lift arms were not going to work. They reminded me of the ones that were originally on it and I can see how they got all bent up. These guys are nice because they got that uh, spherical joint right there and it, they work pretty good. They got that natural bend to it. If you look at this arm right here, this arm actually has a slight skew to it and it works out great for these uh, these three points that I got here. Now let's go take a look at what all we're going to be cleaning up. Alright, here's everything that we're going to have to try to clean up today. It is just a thick thatch of old dried up weeds and a bunch of trash. I've already hauled off the big stuff with the tractor by dragging it. And now I'm going to see how well this landscaping rake really works. I've, I've used it already a little bit and I'm pretty impressed with it, but we're going to see what all it can do.
Well, so far so good. This guy's a real trooper. Well, it's a tractor, but it's the only one I got. And it's doing a, a pretty good job as far as I'm concerned. I know it goes a little slow, but I'm not sure if it's just because it's such a low powered tractor. You know, it's only 18 horse. When I purchased this guy from Tractor Supply, the, uh, the ad said it was pretty much good for tractors at 25 horsepower or maybe 20 horsepower and up and it was on sale so that's the one I got. They, this I believe is the six footer. They sell a four footer but it was actually more expensive so I figured if I had to I could just you know take these bolts out remove some of these tines because the way they're attached in is they're sandwiched in between this orange piece and this black piece and then they have, yeah, they're just sandwiched in there. And I thought maybe they had a little tab on them, but that's actually the uh, the black piece of C-channel right there. And uh, they're just sandwiched in by pressure. So one of the first things I did, though, whenever I purchased this guy, is I went through and I made sure all those lock nuts were tight because I didn't want to be pulling out any of these tines. Uh, this soil around here on this property is really rocky and so it's not uncommon to see one of these guys actually that one's pretty twisted up right there to uh, catch a pretty good sized rock kind of like that one right there that's actually a piece of concrete let's see what happens there and it springs back for the most part but so far I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so let's see what we have in these piles here well, the first thing I see is uh, remnants of an old wooden barrel. Probably more of a lawn decor half barrel type thing, but that's what's in there. There's plenty of sticks. Some of them were big enough that I had to just get out and throw them in a pile. But uh, rocks, yeah, lots of rocks. All of this right here, that's pretty much what I uh, pulled up. Let's go see what it looks like over yonder. Now I'm not exactly sure where my property line ends and where someone else's begins, but this is kind of the, uh, kind of reminds me of a dump all. As you can see there's kind of like a tank that's been on fire, it's missing its whole side, which is a shame, that would have been really handy. Uh, you know, various pieces of concrete, uh, those fiberglass transparent uh, roof sidings a whole bunch of tires that I don't even know what I'm going to do with there's these old trees we've been trimming them up they're just everywhere nice little pile of wood I just made but uh, we're getting there it, it does a pretty good job this thatch is real thick so you end up pulling up a bit of the topsoil along with it it's probably something that you probably want to keep but right now I'm just trying to clean it up I got a whole bunch of wood that the wife has actually been cutting because I've been doing 70 hours a week at work so yeah this is what I'm doing for fun on my, my like one day off so I'm gonna keep at it hopefully it's not quite as snake infested because that's what I'm really shooting for that and well, riding lawnmower, the John Deere 111, I need to get in here and I want to mow. But, I want to make sure I'm not going to be running over anything. I just got that guy running, so it would be really a, a shame to have it break down on me because I ran over a coffee can or I don't even know what this is. I guess an old flower pot. All right, back at it. 